BBC News with Fiona MacDonald. President Biden has described the mission to evacuate tens of thousands of Americans and Afghan allies from Kabul as one of the biggest, most difficult airlifts in history. He said the US would use every resource necessary to try to complete the operation by the end of the month deadline. The Secretary-General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, has said reaching Kabul airport is proving a big challenge for both foreigners and Afghans considered to be at risk. Speaking after a meeting of NATO foreign ministers, Mr Stoltenberg said some countries had suggested extending the deadline. On the first anniversary of the nerve agent attack on the jailed Russian opposition activist Alexei Navalny, the United States and Britain have imposed further sanctions. They target individuals or entities accused of involvement in the attack or in Russia's chemical weapons programme. President Biden is to nominate the veteran diplomat Nicholas Burns to be the US ambassador to China. If approved by the Senate, he will head to Beijing with relations between the two countries at their lowest ebb for decades. In a further blow to Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta, the Court of Appeal has upheld an earlier ruling that an attempt to change the constitution and introduce widespread political changes was illegal. The proposed reforms include the introduction of a new post of Prime Minister and dozens more constituencies. General Motors has expanded a recall of its Chevrolet Bolt electric cars because of manufacturing defects in their battery cells, which can cause fires. The US company said the move involving thousands more of the vehicles would cost it $1 billion. And it's been confirmed that the world premiere of the new James Bond film, No Time to Die, will take place in London late next month. It's faced repeated delays because of the coronavirus pandemic. BBC News.